Hello, my name is Rosario Garcia, Frederick Police Victim Services Unit. The series of videos you're about to see are detailing senior citizens' crimes against seniors, and our hope as a department will increase the awareness, education, and enlightenment of the public and the families of seniors to report crimes and to prevent. Senior citizens, as well as other assets that we have in our community, are one of my most important, valuable assets, and we hope to encourage the public and our seniors in the community, City of Frederick, to encourage reporting, knowledge, and information for the public as well. Thank you. I'm Detective Morgan with the Frederick City Police Criminal Investigations Division. We're here to talk to you today about foreign lotteries, scams, and how they affect senior citizens. What you're about to see is an incident where a senior citizen has received a foreign lottery scam in the mail. This foreign lottery has offered her a large amount of money in reference that she needs to send back to them $1,500. Hmm. This looks interesting. $325,000? This is very good. Now during Christmas I need the money. Oh, I have to send you $1,500? And when do you need to receive that money? Today? What she's about to do is run out to her bank, withdraw all that funds, take it to a wiring facility, wire it to a place overseas, and then she would not receive her money in return. Senior citizens are often targeted because it's believed they have a large nest egg of money. Um, their family and friends are never around. They're too busy to give them the guidance or answer questions when the senior citizen has it. They welcome the interaction through the telephone or through the mail. So when they get this correspondence, they just believe and assume it's true as they're trusting society. Now that you've seen how easily this could happen, here are some preventative measures to keep it from happening to you. What you need to do is if you've never entered any sort of a lottery or a sweepstakes, you do not want to send anyone any of your money. You do not want to send any of your bank account or personal information, such as your birthday, your social security number, to anyone. You need to call the police department and make a police report. If any of this has happened to you or sounds familiar, please contact a family member or someone you trust and law enforcement. You can call the Frederick Police Department at 301-600-2100, or if you feel it's an emergency, you can dial 911. Uh, my name is Kevin Towers. I'm a United States Postal Inspector. Uh, the United States Postal Inspection Service is one of the oldest federal law enforcement agencies in the country. Uh, founded by Benjamin Franklin over 200 years ago, uh, the Inspection Service is charged with protecting the United States Postal Service, securing the, nail, the nation's mail system, and protecting consumers. Uh, currently, we're seeing a, a high increase in foreign lottery and counterfeit check scams that are coming through the mails. And uh, what's happening is we're noticing this typically from people who are victims of those scams because they report them to us or they report them to local law enforcement agencies. We also want to stress that it's very important for friends and family of seniors to take notice of if there are uh, mailings piling up in their homes, uh, as, as well as to take notice of receipts from wire transfers. We see in these foreign lottery and counterfeit check schemes that the bad guys generally have the victims wire transfer money immediately. And uh, the way you might be able to notice that someone that you know is being victimized is either through receipts uh, located around the house for wire transfers. Uh, you also might notice that there's a change in their ability to pay for things. They're not able to pay for their prescriptions, um, pay some of their bills, and one of those reasons could be because they're sending uh, the money that they do have to the bad guys with the hopes that they're going to win uh, a lottery or a, a big prize which um, does not exist. 